welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that why i don't use onedrive and how i got rid of onedrive completely from my windows pc and laptop so if you are also using onedrive probably you might have the same challenges that i face in the onedrive so make sure that you watch the video till the end so that you can easily decide that you have to keep onedrive or you have to completely remove it so without any delay let's quickly get started now the first reason that i don't like about the onedrive is the low storage plan that you get in the free plan now majority of the people are using the free plan and if i go to onedrive settings and go to sync and backup manage backup you can see that they are only providing 5 gigabyte of storage that's quite low and that is the reason maximum time when you open your file explorer you find a red cross icon around the desktop document in the pictures and even a lot of notification from onedrive so that's really annoying okay this is the first part now the next part that i don't like about the onedrive is like it's quite confusing let me show you if i bring two file explorer here and now on the left hand side you can see there are two different categories now here desktop document and pictures that you can see now these all belong to the onedrive like if i go to desktop right click on it go to properties location so you can see it's been saved in the onedrive okay now what is the problem is if i go to the document of onedrive and i right click and let's say if i save any folder here by name test onedrive and now if i go to the local drive like in this pc document so you can see i don't find it over here so let me show you if i go back so what i'm expecting here that i saved my data or saved any kind of pictures or videos in my document and i would be expecting that it should be saved in my local drive as well but again as i said if i go to my local disk c users work and document so you can see that there is no folder that i created over here so that's really confusing and probably you might lose your important data just because of this kind of confusion now if i do the same thing over here if i right click on it over up to new create folder by the name uh, test local drive okay and now on this file explorer if i go to this pc local disk c users work document so you can see this folder has been already been synced because it's in a local drive okay so that is the confusing part as i said there are a lot of confusion the low storage that i really don't like about the one drive okay now if you want to go and upgrade your plan probably that can be a better choice for you if you want to upgrade the plan but at least i won't recommend you if you are going with a free plan now, the next reason I don't like about OneDrive is the limited file sharing option. So OneDrive doesn't allow you to do any kind of file sharing between OneDrive users. So that is another drawback I don't like about it. Next, if you're using any kind of email account that belong to Microsoft like Hotmail or Outlook.com, then probably you will not be getting any kind of email or you will not be able to send any kind of email if your OneDrive storage has been full. So that is the another major drawback that I found in the OneDrive limited storage plan. Next is the weak data privacy. And if you think highly of data privacy, then OneDrive isn't a good choice because it is developed and managed by Microsoft. Even if your data is encrypted by Microsoft, can it still get access to it? Okay, so I consider it as a weak data privacy. And now the last reason that I really don't like about the OneDrive is the synchronization. So the OneDrive may lose data during the synchronization and won't notice you when it happened. Okay, as I said, there is a lot of confusion between the synchronization. And if you want to keep everything very simple so that you save anything, it should be saved in a local drive and you should not be scared of losing any kind of data, then I won't recommend you to go with the OneDrive. Okay, so these are the reasons I feel about the OneDrive free plan and I don't consider going and continue with the OneDrive. So now let's see that how you have to uninstall it completely, how you have to completely get rid of it. 
so there are a few steps that you have to follow in order to completely get rid of it first what you will have to do look for the onedrive icon at the right hand corner right click on it click on the setting gear icon then click on settings now here in the sync and backup click on manage backup and disable all these document picture and desktop backup which has been enabled so toggle it off click on stop backup and do the same with the pictures and the desktop or whichever has been enabled and once you are done you have to click on close now here in the onedrive setting click on account and then you have to click on unlink this pc click on it then click unlink account again and now you can see that the account has been unlinked but the onedrive is still running on your computer and sometime it happened that automatically signing into any other kind of microsoft account can let you sign in again back to onedrive so what next you will have to do click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key now here look for the microsoft onedrive right click on it and choose uninstall so once it's been uninstalled we also need to assure that it's not been running in the startup and in the services so right click on the windows icon click on task manager here in the windows 11 from the left in menu option you have to look for the startup apps and here you have to look for onedrive and in case if you find the onedrive then make sure you right click on it and choose disable okay once you are done close it and finally you have to click on windows search again type services hit the enter key and here also you have to look for the onedrive so first you can press the o key so that you can come to the o section and look for onedrive if you don't find it then press the m key from your keyboard so that you can come to the m section and look for microsoft onedrive now the possibilities are that you may find the microsoft onedrive probably you may not so but still you have to assure that the onedrive is not running over here like on my end i don't see the microsoft onedrive so that's okay but if you find the microsoft onedrive then you have to double click on it and from the startup type you have to choose it to disabled and then you have to stop the service then click on ok and now you are all done you have completely got rid of onedrive and now you can go ahead and restart the computer so that's all guys for today hopefully you will found this video helpful Please let me know in the comment section that do you like OneDrive or not and do you want to go ahead and uninstall it completely or not. And do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.